start. Okay. One, yeah. two, three. <laughs> well, Anna Den Denisenko, is that how you say it? Ah! <laughs> well, with my Eastern European heritage, I thought I'd get it, but, you know, they never taught us. My parents spoke Slovak, um, and um, they never taught us except Yakshamash. <laughs> that was all I know. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm sorry for that, but back in that generation, they didn't want to bring much, you know? Yeah. They wanted to start up. So you're a young person starting out your career, and you use these one one of these neat gig economy jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're. you're uh, are you are you an immigrant? Your parents an immigrant? Uh, I am technically an immigrant. I came. You're an immigrant too. So you're an immigrant in English, and you're teaching people in China how to speak English. Wow. I actually, I actually did a whole year in Russia, so I went back to Russia to teach English. Oh, really? I see. Wow. Ah, cool. So now you wake up in the middle of who knows when in the middle of the night to teach uh, uh, English to Chinese people? Do you have to be an English teacher to do this or, or what? Well, actually, the laws in China are changing and there are like more regulations on who is allowed to do this. When I first started this program two years ago, I mean, I have um, a master's degree, so mm -hmm. I've had a certification. But yeah. Specific online teaching, um, anyone could do it. Like literally, any person who had, like, I think a bachelor's. I see. Uh, could uh -huh. do this program. I don't really know what their certifications are now. It seems like they're moving towards like 120 um, TESOL certification hours, which is like super easy to get online. I see. Oh, oh, you mean like uh, there's cert teacher certification hours you could get online? Yeah, it's like a certificate that shows that you went through a program. Oh. Yeah, it's like an um, online certification, and there's tons of them that do it, and it's not very expensive. I mean, like 100 bucks or something like that? or Yeah, really? Wow. Yeah. And so you could go on an online program to, to be a teacher certified person? Yeah, it's like not as high of a qualification. Yeah, as right. The other it's thing. a piece of paper that says you know how to spell teacher. Right. <laughs> yeah. the basics of English teaching. Right. Uh, yeah. Wow. And, and there's numbers of, of platforms that offer this. Is that right? I mean, for sure. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that you, you belong to a platform. You, you, you don't find your students yourself, right? There, so there's some website you join up and say, hey, I want to do this. And mm -hmm. they plug you in and you get students somehow, right? Absolutely. So there's tons of them now, especially in the last. So I joined this program. Uh, it's called Q Kids. And I joined it maybe two, two and a half years ago. Uh -huh. And I did that. It was kind of like a new thing. Like those kind of programs were just start, starting out. So there's a few. But if I go on job posting sites now, because I frequent them uh, regularly because I'm trying to move back abroad. Uh -huh. With those job posting sites, they'll have now it's like every other link is an mm -hmm. online virtual program, and they're all like there's hundreds of them now. Really, so, you mean like to teach uh, English somewhere or something like this online? Well, yeah, these kinds of programs, these yeah. kind of cool wow. platforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know what the rest of them are like. Uh -huh. I've heard horror stories from some of them. I've been pretty happy with this one. Uh huh. Um, I think that they've been very fair and very clear. I've heard some other teachers who had like really bad experiences with some of the other online platforms. Yeah. And, and the, your program is called what? What is the name? Uh, the one that I work for is called Q Kids. Teaches? How do you spell that? Oh, Q Kids. Q Kids. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh. Q and then Kids. Yeah. Oh, yes. I think I've seen that around. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty big. Name. They used to have a different name back in the day. I see. Kids. Yeah. So in other words, uh, theoretically, you could get a course or if you had any kind of experience teaching, you could do this or other levels of teaching like, oh, people don't, they don't want you to teach just to have conversation. Or, Not on this program. I think some other ones do that. Yeah. Um, but this one's uh, for children. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a cartoon, basically. I see. Like a happy face that leads them through a cartoon that teaches English um, while you're doing it. Oh, no, you're frozen. Uh, there we go. I, I, I just bounced off again. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. I can't tell if it's my computer or my No, internet. it's not you. I think it's me. I have, um, I have been having a lot of connectivity. I have a theory 
that everyone's online and that my internet keeps cutting out because of that. So, I think so. So anyway, you're telling me there's some for kids that were the cartoonies or something like that. And then you could just have to speak English. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. And there's different levels. So they start all the way from like pre, it's even pre level one. So there is a level one. Uh huh. Pre level one where um, it's more like for almost like, I wouldn't say babies, like it's toddlers. Right. And it's very basic. Like that's not even an English class. That's just having them repeat colors over and over right. again. I see. Ah, cool. I could do that. <laughs> yeah. um, level one, you know, to level four is pretty basic. Uh -huh. Level four to like level seven is a little more advanced. And yeah. like, it's eight, nine, and ten. And even eleven, they they get increasingly more difficult. So. Well, I've heard a lot of these kind of things that are the gig economy. You know, you're able to figure out how to make more money the longer you stay with something because you learn sort of like what the robots are requesting or something like that. Um, I don't know about that for this one. I'm actually, the only thing that I'm, like with anything with the gig economy, you're separated from everyone else who's working. So there's no I like, see. you can't like really band together to like <laughs> No union. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it is what it is. I'm never probably gonna. I'm never gonna get a raise, kind of thing. Like right, right. Uh -huh. Even after all this time. Huh? Yeah. So I've considered asking before, but I'm also probably not going to stay with them for too much longer. I mean, I don't know how long the coronavirus will keep me here. <laughs> <laughs> you may be longer than you think. <laughs> I have plans for moving um, this summer. So. Uh -huh. I see. Yeah. No, I've heard. Uh, so now, so the good part, what, what's the good part? What, why, why do you like this? Um, I like it because there's no um, planning involved. So with like regular teaching, uh, mm. it, it's just an extra thing that I can do to make money without mm. having too much thought. You kind of log on, you do it, and you log off. Well, what do you do when you log on? So you don't have to have a teacher's plan or they give you something that... No, yeah, it's all done. So it's like a cartoon that you like lead them through. And I can show you. I can share my screen and show you what it looks oh, like. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Um, so let me... I see. ...share. So this is like a... Um, oh, the, there it is. Huh. Um, and there's like an online app for your phone where you can like kind of... You kind of give them your schedule ahead of time. Right. Um in their parameters of available classes and they'll just kind of randomly assign you classes. Uh huh. So today I decided to only do three. I normally do a lot more, but I'm just like burnt out. So I'm doing three tonight. <laughs> um, so you can see here, these are all level six, which are kind of in the middle. Mm -hmm. And they're all on different topics. There's like for this particular program, I don't know what others do. Right. But these two characters um, in the earlier levels, there's like Momo Monkey. Who is this pink so one? when you click that on, Momo Monkey comes alive and talks? Uh, well, a little bit. Um, it depends. I can show you. I, okay. There's Kobe Koala, and then there's like a family of humans, Jack and his friends. <laughs> back story also. Like, I've memorized these lessons. I see. <laughs> um, you know the entire story of Jack and <laughs> So you know the ending. Huh? <laughs> personalities i know all their history i know like, <laughs> I know all their, like yeah. oh that's cool let's see one of them so let's do this is a review unit so this uh -huh. one is more fun but i kind of want to do one that's more lesson based um i don't really like any of these lessons let me do a different one some of them i really enjoy teaching more than others they're like yeah. more um, so let's see. I'm getting a lot of level sixes. Can you get the uh, uh, the the students have personalities at all that you like or dislike? And I mean, are they pretty human? Yeah. Yeah. So that there's a lot. That's the other interesting part of teaching is that you kind of have to learn the program too. Uh huh. So like some kids are just like real like noisy or real bad or just you have to I mute see, them. Right. I'm on mute the whole time and only unmute them when I'm like having them answer something. Um, other kids are just a delight. <laughs> so, I see. Oh, cool. So like, they're all human. <laughs> some good, some bad. I want to find like a fun one that kind of really represents. Yeah. Uh, but there's still like I, <laughs> we can't get into any of them yet. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm trying to see. Let's. Uh, what do you got? Uh, okay, I think this one's like kind of cute. Um, so this one, we actually no. Let me go back. Sorry. <laughs> I'll show you. We'll just do this one. This is 
a review lesson. You're not really learning anything in this lesson. It's more of just like a review of the unit. These are my favorite to teach because they're just games. Um, so my internet's a little slow, so we'll see if it uh, allows for... Oh, are you still? Okay, yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not frozen. It's using a lot of like bandwidth right now uh, to show this. So you come in um, at two minutes until the class. You can um, say hello. Okay, so there you are. Okay, we're back. Boy, I just keep. Oh, here it is. Here, cute kids. <laughs> I see. So normally ah. I would be in this uh, video right here, but. Oh, you, you'd be on the right where Anna is? Uh, I'd be. Well, this is like the intro. So I yeah. would both in this one and this like right hand corner i see uh, so this is just me talking to the students and then so their vision of the platform is slightly different than mine because i uh -huh. have their side they have the student side i so see I'm always in the corner here going through and i can always see them at the bottom they oh. can see each other unless i put them on the screen and these yeah. like these things cool. and then they, they can always see me so do they, is there audio comes with it and you just intersperse with the audio or what? Yes, yeah, so that's why I have this headset. It's to... I see. Oh, cool. Ah. So we can see here this unit was on weather. And weather, climate. right. How to be hot in the desert huh? and cold yeah. in the weather. Exactly. So it's something like, where's Momo? Momo I... What's the weather like? Is, is Momo the blue guy? Or what? Uh, she's the pink monkey. Oh, oh they're monkeys. Yeah. A blue monkey. Well, that's cool. A pink monkey. <laughs> they're going to have a separate union. Purple monkeys, too. Oh, all kind of monkeys. That's well, the blue guy is a koala. Like oh, koala. I see. Oh, hence the desert. Right. Got you. So, Kobe yeah. koala and Momo monkey. Yeah. So and is there, has it ever had any problem getting paid from the people or anything like that? So that's what I've heard horror stories from other people. I've yeah. never had a problem. They've made mistakes before. And so mm -hmm. I have definitely had to check my, um, like, mm -hmm. list. Yeah. So all my classes have been counted, accounted mm -hmm. for. And if I've ever had a problem, it's super easy. I So they're um, outside of the lesson. So this would be, like, the lesson. So I like, see, oh, right. Like, uh, let's do vocabulary, sunny, windy. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. But now outside of this, there's a chat box that I can message with um, the staff. And I'm just oh. like, hey, I wasn't paid for like XY class on this day. I see. Right. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. How about like checking out reviews? I mean, cute kids, I guess, you know, like uh, Glassdoor and those people, they have, I guess, reviews of things like this. Have you ever seen that? I've honestly never went to check on the reviews for here. I do it for the some of the other in person yeah. jobs that I've been applying for, but I never really felt a need to review for. Right. Well, you're getting money. Do you don't care? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I guess that was back then too. A couple of years ago, things were a lot different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. So. But you use Glassdoor or whatever. What's that other one? Uh, there's I forget. But the reviews from users and employees that. Seem very helpful to me, yeah. Particularly in the gig stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah so the, I use that for more like the in-person jobs because you know it's kind of uh, you're putting a lot of trust if you're getting a right. Exactly, yeah. Right, right. Now here you can do for five minutes. Screw this, and you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's wonderful, Anna. So, do you think that now that uh, you could use this as a school, like when you, you say you're going to travel, so if you're somewhere else in the world, God, I need another hundred bucks and you could just go on and, <laughs> and do this again. Huh? You know, I probably could. Um, and it would actually be more regular hours because I'd probably be in a more uh, time zone. <laughs> right. But I probably could still do this abroad, even if I was teaching um, a full-time job. Oh, really? Huh? Um, cool. Um, mm. I actually hadn't thought of that. Well, one step at a time. You're making money, <laughs> and you're the backbone of uh, uh, Wendy's uh, group. Uh, what do we call it? Now? School Girls Unite? No. Uh, <laughs> what, what What do you call it now? What? The activism Project. Activism Project, right, exactly. Youth Activism Project. Really yeah. Now, Wendy is going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Probably know that. <laughs> he calls me Ralph all the time in the middle of the night, so I don't know why that is. <laughs>
tell her too much. <laughs> oh, wonderful, Anna. Uh, so nice to speak with you. I think we spent five seconds together once before. <laughs> and nice to know it and share that these, these opportunities are real for people. And, and that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, a lot of people just unaware. You hear of things, but it doesn't come to life until you talk to somebody who's done it. So I appreciate you educating me and the other people who may be interested in doing something like this in the future. Yeah, and if there's anyone specific, um, anytime, I'm also happy to answer like more specific questions if anyone wants to know. More oh, great. Oh, but, wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Uh, the hours aren't great. Uh, but besides that, you know, it's just a way to make extra money before or after like a re like your right day job, I guess. Well, the hours aren't great because the people are in China, right? So that's like 12 hours difference or something from us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but, and some of them don't recognize that because they're little kids. Some of them, right. <laughs> some of them don't realize like it's yeah. like, I'm like, it's nighttime out here. Right. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Well, thank you again, Anna, for doing this. And uh, talk to you soon and stay well. You're a great lady. Talk to you soon. Take Absolutely. care. Thank you. Uh -huh.